Welcome to this latest edition of Share Views, brought to you by London South East, that's lse.co.uk. Joining me today is Zaza Mumalishvili, the new CEO at Frontera Resources. Welcome, Zaza. Very nice to be here. It's a pleasure to have you. Uh, a lot has been happening with Frontera, not least that a month ago you were finance director and now you're CEO. Um, why was this the right time for Stephen Nicandros to become non-exec chairman after 21 years? Uh, thanks for that question. Uh, I think... Uh, what happened was that Steve did a fantastic job for years and years and years identifying TCFs of gas for frontier resources, millions of barrels of uh, crude oil as a resources for the company. And uh, now he's uh, not executive chairman of the company. He's one of the largest shareholders of the company, still working very hard to help company to start producing commercially those vol volumes. And uh, we just made these changes a month ago, and now, once we identify all these great resources, now it's time to get it out of the ground. And this is what we will be doing now. Okay, as I say, a lot of changes have happened in the, in the last month or so under your leadership. Uh, sum up those changes for me and why you and the board thought they were necessary. Well, those changes, I think, uh, we as a board, as a company, as a management, have been aligned that we needed to make some changes to in order to make this company more attractive for investors to get ourselves healthier stronger and embark on field development which we are about to start we are planning to start this field development uh, the, 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 this year and that's why we've cleaned our balance sheet that's why we've changed our cost structure we made our operations a bit more efficient than before and based on those changes we are getting ready for uh, field development let me drill down there. Uh, sorry, uh, no pun intended. What, what did the elimination of debt and the release of new shares mean in layman's terms? Why was that so necessary? Uh, that was necessary because we really wanted to, uh, A, make our balance sheet healthier. For example, uh, early this year, we had $75 million debt against roughly $10 million company's market cap. Right now, as we speak, we've got $30 million debt, a little bit more than that, with $20 million company's market cap. So £50 million pound market cap with $20 million, uh, 20 million pound uh, debt. So it has really changed, and what we see, investors, shareholders, they appreciate it, they like it, they consider it as a next step for improvement, and now they are following with us, and with their patience and enthusiasm following into field development. And with the new broker, uh, WH Ireland, it feels like it's as though you've drawn a line in the sand and you're creating a new start here for yourself. Is that what it feels like to you? Uh, absolutely. We are pleased and very happy to establish this new relationship, new brokerage relationship with WH Ireland. Uh, we are very pleased to see their professionalism and the level of uh, knowledge and understanding uh, of the area, of the region, of the business, and uh, I think there will be a new page in relationship with market, relationship with uh, investors, interested parties, etc., etc. So what are the next steps for Frontera Resources? Next steps are that the, we're going to focus on the field development in Georgia and Block 12. Uh, this is the name of the license area we call. And there is particularly one of the fields, Taribani, and in this Taribani field, we've identified a section which we call Eldari A section, and this is oil-bearing zones we've been producing for quite some time now. And now we are planning to start to commence the, the, the new drilling campaign in there in order to move into a commercial development of the field. So basically, we are starting field development. And here, we like to start, make a first step and start first side track and embark on development that way. So oil out of the ground or exploration still? No, that will be developmental project. This is oil out of ground. We've drilled those wells, we've produced those wells, we've tested, for. we had long-term tests, and we know we can commercially produce those wells, and that's why we are confident that very soon we're going to raise capital and then start field development. You're in London to meet your shareholders. Uh, in fact, you met them uh, yesterday evening. Um, who are those shareholders, first of all, and what were your key messages to those shareholders? Well, uh, our main shareholding base is that we've got 85% of retail shareholders. I wish I knew all of them. Unfortunately, I don't. 
but uh, uh, about 65-70% of our shareholder basis is here in, in UK. And uh, we had very good meeting. I think we had very good exchange. Uh, we all believe we are on the same page. And uh, now we are all ready to, to move forward and start uh, producing a lot of oil, increasing our revenues and making a lot of money for shareholders. What kind of time frame might you expect for these, all these positive things? Uh, I think we'll be successfully commencing the, the operations in the fourth quarter of this year. And then we embark on 10-year field development plan. Fantastic. Um, it's probably a good point to remind people uh, of the strategy of Frontera Resources, your Georgia, Moldova, Black Sea strategy, and then possibly edging into Ukraine as well. Absolutely. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, with pleasure. Yes, we, we are focused around Black Sea. Our main interest is the, the underdeveloped prolific oil and gas basins uh, in Eastern European countries. And around the greater Black Sea at the moment is our focus, with our anchor investments being in Georgia. Uh, we just signed, early this year, we signed an agreement with Moldovan government. And we are in discussions with the Ukrainian government to secure one of the prolific uh, basins in southwest of Ukraine as well. I think if we are successful, we will land that contract in the year or so from now. Is there some kind of a challenge involved in working offshore Ukraine, given that Ukraine is engaged in a, a low-level war with Russia? Uh, well, this is pretty unfortunate that they are in, in, in this kind of tense relationship with Russia. Uh, which Ukraine... I like your understatement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are thinking of the area in southwest of uh, Ukraine, which is uh, roughly 600 miles away uh, of, of this conflict zone, but I'm not sure that we are that close yet to sign an agreement in Ukraine. So maybe the war will be sorted out by the time you get there. Exactly, let's hope that. And talking of, of challenges, the key fundamentals of the business uh, are, are look tricky. Um, is this what you'd expect at this stage in your cycle, um, and what can you do to turn things around? Uh, let, me, let me answer this question this way. The, the, the key thing for us is, for the moment, that we are looking at 12 TCF of gas, from which 9 TCF is recoverable volumes, and third parties are... TCFs of gas are? T exactly. T what are TCFs? A trillion cubic feet of gas as a resource in, in, in the block uh, 12 in Georgia. From this 12 TCF, trillion cubic feet, we will be able to recover 9 trillion cubic feet. From oil, crude oil side, we've got roughly 800 million barrels sitting in the ground, and third parties are confirming it for us. So now, it took a while for us, before we delineated those areas, before we acquired 2D seismic, 3D seismic, drills, drill well or two or three, tested production, uh, core those wells and identify that we've got permeabilities, everything from 0 0.5 millidarcy to 234 millidarcy, that porosities are from 12% to 26%. So it took a while and investment to see and understand all of that. And once we did it, we came to this point and we said, look, now we really understand how we can get it out of ground. And Sure, we spent time and money to get ourselves educated, but now we are ready to embark on development. That's the beauty of this momentum, because we've paid good education, all this costs you money, and this is what happened with us. Mm. But as long as we got good knowledge, and we really do got good knowledge how to produce those zones, uh, we are at the right time, at the right place, and that's exactly what I've communicated yesterday with our shareholders and what we are trying to communicate with all interested parties in the days to come. So it's Q4 oil out of the ground? A absolutely. Did I ask you when, when do you become profitable? Uh, we, at the moment, uh, as I said a minute ago, we've changed our cost structure such that we, are, uh, we leave off our oil and gas revenues. So next year, we're going to become a profitable company. And if you can sum up your outlook? Well, if we sum up our outlook, I see in uh, four or five years from now, company being over a billion dollars market cap. That's it for now. Thanks to Zaza Mumilishvili, CEO at Frontera Resources, for joining us. Thanks to you for watching. And that's it from this edition of Shareviews, brought to you by London Southeast.